Let's let's talk about this. I I want to give you guys. So this is about the Asmund Gold situation. I think it says uh, it's by Tectone and my honest thing on the Asmund Gold after knowing him for three years. I believe Tectone is a member of Asmund's group, his streamer circle. The whole answer. And this is this is going to be a pretty long winded one because I have a lot of things to say right now. And I'm sure you guys have a lot. Of so, uh, I mean, I don't know how much you guys know about the whole Asmund Gold situation, but basically the guy got absolutely <laughs> destroyed. He got banned off of Twitch. He lost his position in two of his own companies and he's out of like his own group or something like that. And then all of this because of some stuff he said, which is kind of crazy because People say the same thing. They didn't kick him out. He willingly stepped down. Says crazy. He willingly stepped. But why did why did he willingly step down though? He's still on the website. He oh he stepped away for a little, not like not like completely to improve his life. What does that mean? He doesn't want to deal with running it anymore. Okay, you know that I can that that I can that I can vibe with because I actually don't like, want to do that. He wants to focus on himself for a while. But anyway, regardless, he he had like a complete. Like the internet hating him. I mean, they hated him anyway, to be honest. And then, and then, you know, he got banned from Twitch. All, all for things, by the way. Um, the funny thing is, is the stuff that he said, and whether or not you agree with it, that doesn't matter. The fact is, people say that same thing, but just with a different target, and they're okay. Nothing happens to them. And that's just the truth. Anyway. The questions. And by the way, I, I appreciate the subs. I appreciate the follows. Dude, let me tell you, though, the content creators around this whole thing, fucking rats, man. Like, absolute, like, rat vulture behavior from, like, so many people. It's actually crazy. Oh, man. Like, Asmin said this thing. Like, I, I, you know, do better, Asmin. Like, shut the fuck up, man. Like, dude. Money's tight. You know how bro, it goes. I'm going to answer the absolutely rat king. everything. And I, I do just want to talk from my perspective. If anybody gives a f I mean, if you don't, it's all right. I mean, I wouldn't really care either. I'm just some bald guy on the internet. And uh, that's where I... I mean, he's halfway there. He already has the important part down. Become more and more bitter. I mean, I was in the card shop yesterday realizing how much of a bitter, bitter man I've become when it comes to content creation. I'm going to be real, guys. I, I really fucking hate the climate of current content. Just like me for real. And creation, I think it's a fucking joke. I think cancel culture is, uh, we, we we were getting a nice reprieve, but now it's worse than it's ever fucking been. People would like to exaggerate anything that they can do to make someone say, who's a dumbass sound like a fucking neo-Nazi. But that's just my opinion. I want to talk about everything. And uh, before I talk about everything, you guys have to understand, you guys have to understand this, and I'm going to lay it out here. I don't think I've ever really talked about this. I'm going to give you my backstory. I'm going to give you the whole truth. And then whatever questions y'all have, uh, we're going to talk about it afterwards. I'm going to talk about okay. how I feel. And I want you guys to know that these opinions are coming from me and not me just saying, okay, I'll say that like hundreds of other streamers do. Guys, I'm going to keep it a buck. I fucking hate streamers. I genuinely fucking hate streamers. Genuinely. And it <sighs> Tell me more. It wasn't always you have my interest this way but the more i grew on twitch the more my viewer count went up and down the more that i hate this fucking platform how much i fucking hate social media how much i fucking hate streamers I holy fuck just like me dude just like me dude i like this guy i should watch this guy I genuinely really do because there's no he's like grumpy just like me loyalty and anything and anybody will backstab you just true so true wait wait can you say that again what no loyalty in anything and anybody will backstab you true so true just for fun and i feel like loyalty is something that's lost in this community and i feel like mm. there's a proper time and place to rage bait for everything and it just seems like everybody's looking for any excuse to feign outrage in order that's what i mean dude they're fucking rats there's dude, all the rats came out, dude. When 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 Asmund Gold fell down, all the rats came, all of them, all of the rats. Farm a couple up dudes on the internet. Now, I would like to say what I'm saying is in no correlation to the Asmund Gold situation right now. This is me just telling you guys that I am a streamer that hates streaming culture. Now, I love my me job. too. I love streaming to my community. That's what this is what I was trying to say. Remember how I said like the other day, like man, dude, like I just I hate. I hate the whole streaming thing, but like, I don't hate you guys. 
I hate everything else around streaming. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. What I was trying to say before, like about like what, like a week ago, I think it was like a week ago I was talking about this. But looking on Twitter, seeing what people say every day, seeing the forums <laughs> makes me fucking sick. There's been such a decline in mental health. The longer and longer I go in streaming, the more and more I find out how some of my favorite streamers operate behind the scenes. Some of the things that my favorite streamers have said about me behind the scenes uh -huh. just kind of drives me fucking nuts. And Tell I me will more. say one thing that always fucks me over is that I am honest to a fault. That has fucked me for six years. That's fucked me for longer. That's, fu that's fucked me for way longer. This is why, by the way, this is why I have trouble, like, being friends with, with girls, to be honest, is because, like, sometimes, um, and, and, like, I actually have adopted, like, this kind of weird stance where, like, I'll be friends with, like, like, and then, uh, guys, hold on. Let me preface this by saying, like, I do have friends. I do have friends that are girls, okay? But the reason I have trouble, like, making friends with a lot of girls is because, like, a lot of the time, they'll come to me and they'll be like, Leaflet, I have a problem. And I'm like, oh, yeah? Well, have you tried not doing this? And then they get mad at me. You know what I mean? And, and like, like, from my point of view, I'm just like, oh, you, my friend is coming to me with a problem. How do I help them fix it? You know what I mean? That's like the that's like the first thing in my mind is like my friend has a problem. Like let's fix this problem. Like let's figure out a solution to clearing this problem. And the problem is I found that that's not what people want usually. Dude, maybe dude, maybe maybe I am a fanboy, dude. Who, <laughs> maybe maybe they were right that's how i think about things and like as i started like becoming like friends with like you know you know like the whole meme that like, there's there's no girls on the internet the truth is that was like kind of true actually like back in the day there were like barely any girls on the internet like you play like an mmo like the girl population was like really low compared to how it is now so there's a lot there's a lot more girls playing like games and this is all this is a good thing by the way i'm not i'm not i don't think this is a bad thing i think it's a great thing that there's like there's more people playing video games it's good in some ways and it's bad in some ways i'm not gonna say it's like 100 percent always good there are bad things about it and there are good things about it it's different it's it's different is what i'll say has pros and cons so like i'd play counter-strike with my friends and my friend i mean you see how like sometimes me and chaos fight on stream about tactics and the thing is is like it was like that in counter-strike 2 it would be like yo leaflet you fucking suck what were you doing and i'd be like don't do that stop being a retard and like buy a buy a fucking ak stop being a retard you know what i mean like it would be like that it's very harsh it's like yo like you know this is like you suck here's how here's why you suck stop sucking that would be like the whole thing right anyway so like fast forward to like now like i started streaming and i and i started um I started VTubing more and then, you know, streaming. And now I'm starting to meet like more girls because there's like, actually like a lot of girls that like VTube and stream, obviously. Um, so, you know, as I start to get ex exposed more to that, I started to run into this problem where I have a friend who'd have a problem. They'd come to me and be like, oh, Leafla, like this like happened to me. What do I do? Like, no, 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 not what I do. They would say, this happened to me. I'm so sad. That's how it would start. Yo, like, why the fuck did you do that? That's fucking, that's fucking retarded. Just like do this instead. And then they would get mad at me. You know what I mean? And they would get mad at me. And I'd be like, but I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you the truth. That's like how you solve it. Right. I mean, obviously. And, and then they'd get mad at me. And then like, at some point I realized because I was like, they, they would like ghost me sometimes. Like they'd be like, leaflet problem, blah, 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 friend fix your shit boom and then they'd be like stop talking to me right and then so like i, I, I remember talking to someone about uh, like what's going on you know what i mean and then like they're telling me like well you know you're not good at listening what do you mean yeah well you know i have a problem and it feels really bad and so like i, I got to like the point i got to the point where like i would have a, 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 this is like what i i developed like this kind of system where i would go into like a thing and like a friend like and i do this with guys too now by the way this isn't like a girl only thing i do this to every single person a person comes to me and i i you know i'll use my friend astray as an example because we're, we're chill and i can make fun of him uh, astray will be like leaflet something happened and i'd be like okay astray do you want me to listen to your problem and be like really understanding or do you want me to fucking tell you how to fix it which is it just listen to my problem i'm like okay what's wrong astray and he'd be like blah 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 blah, blah. i'm like ah are you okay you know what i mean like 
I started doing this to like people because I don't want I don't want to get I don't want people to get mad at me because the thing is is like I'm being real with you guys like I'm the type of person I fucking hate it when people say stuff like this they go like everything's gonna be okay if you just try and you keep trying you'll make it eventually or like this is just the start you're gonna you know with enough effort your dreams will come true. I fucking hate that shit I hate it so much because it's not real <laughs> it's bullshit <laughs> it, it it's it's not real it's bullshit it doesn't mean anything you don't know that like when a person says like I have all these problems and you tell them everything will be okay you don't know that why are you saying it um anyway everyone knows it because I'm the dude who says the things that everybody's thinking but nobody wants to say and it's fucking horrible it's fucked me over once but now twice and probably a third time today but i am just going to say everything sorry for the long pretense i'm i'm very much trying to calm down because I'm, I'm just pissed off about a lot of things what people want me to say i understand what people have wanted me to say in the past I'm going to keep this part vague. Knowers will know. I don't need to draw any attention more to this than it's already uh, been uh, had uh, because I feel horrible for what has happened off of misunderstandings, not actualities for some of my friends. Guys, you have to understand it's very easy to know what to say and what not to say on social media. Any fucking <laughs> retard on the internet can understand what's the right thing to say and what's the right thing to do for a career. I am not the guy who does the things that's right for the career. Yo, me too. <laughs> Me too, dude. Me too. Because I have this thing called fucking morals, and I stick to them. For example, one of my friends got into a lot of shit recently, and this streamer a smaller streamer and some of you guys probably know who it is that i'm talking about there's a smaller streamer buddy of mine who got into a lot of shit for doing absolutely nothing wrong but because people wanted to peddle a misconception as a reality and this streamer's too small to defend himself he got fucked over not just from stream bro almost lost his job off of a misconception with some poorly timed clips that's it talk to the guy I knew the streamer he was talking to. It wasn't the one everybody was saying because that shit would have been weird as fuck. But bro got fucked. Gotta understand. I understand it was a misconception. He understood it's a misconception. The internet doesn't believe it's a misconception. So what should Tech Don't have done as a businessman? What should I have done as a businessman? I get told this all the time. Should have trimmed the fat. Should have turned my back on him. Said, nah, I'm good. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, everything that you guys were saying was true. Fuck him. What a freak. Hate him. Never talking to him again. Never associating with him ever again. That's not the type of guy that I am, guys. That's not the type of guy that I am. That's not I like the guy, this guy I've ever been. I like this guy. You say he plays Genshin? Ah, oh, rip. <laughs> That's not the guy I ever will be. I will hold people <laughs> accountable for the things that they have done that are wrong. I am not going to hold people accountable for what the internet thinks. Because if what the internet thinks isn't true, then I'm not going to promote that. That's not who I am. And I hope to a lot of people that's going to freak people out. Because they're going to say, oh, well, that's not really the good content decision. That's not really best for business. That's not best for your channel growth. I, I mean, they're, they're not wrong. That's actually the truth, to be honest. That's actually, that's actually what you should be doing. I don't mm. fucking care. If I cared about channel growth, I'd still be playing fucking Genshin Impact. And I don't give a fuck. And I haven't given a fuck in a very long time. When you become my friend, I want you to know that I am always going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Now, that being said, when you fuck up, I'm also going to hold you accountable to a very high degree. That and if you betray me, you're fucking dead to me. To a very high degree. But if anybody don't do it. ever worries. And I will find out. Even if it's behind my back, I will find out. Hey man, this is what I heard on the internet. You can expect me to DM you and say, hey man, what's your take on this? Saw this shit on the forums. Are you okay? What's your side? That's the type of guy that I am. Now, random non sequitur, kind of. Parallel non sequitur, done. I want to get on to the shit that I actually wanted to talk about. I need you all to know that the reason why I started being a streamer mm -hmm. was because of Asmund. Asmund has been and always will be my favorite streamer. His content was amazing. When I played World of Warcraft, his guides, his videos were fucking insane. The dude's funny, the guy's charismatic, and he made me feel better about my life because I'm like, wow, look at his slop fuck f <laughs> Best of a room. I must- Oh, fuck. Yeah, when I look at my room, 
That's when cool does it make me feel better about my life. I look at my room. It's just normal. Be better than this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Asmund was hilarious. Okay, and the fact that he and other people were the one who invited me to join OTK, just getting into a call with them almost three years now, three years, was surreal. Being invited by one of my favorite streamers to join OTK was a surreal moment for me. It was downstairs in Mrs. House, and I went to go give him a fist bump. He was carrying a Wendy's cup, and I'll never forget what he said. The first thing he ever said to me, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I was like, oh, damn. Holy shit. That was fucking insane. God damn, man. It was dope. You guys got to understand, as a streamer, I'm like you guys. Started off as a fan. And I'm not one of these guys who... You want to know why I stream? I stream because... This is my entire social experience. <laughs> also, also money. Money for my TTRPGs and stuff. And so I can eat food. That's why I stream. <laughs> is a shame. That's it. To admit that I'm a fan. Of maybe I am parasocial. You know, maybe I am. Streamers who I'm friends with. I love my. If playing games with your homies is, is parasocial, then whatever. Fine. Friends content. Jimmy here. I watch his videos every day. Still, even the ones that I'm on, I fucking love my friends. I love the people that I work with, and I love certain streamers. <laughs> me too, me too. But Jimmy is a great example of someone who I love as a person, and I'm still a fan of their content, and it makes me very happy. I still do have favorite streamers. I still do have favorite content creators. That being said, there sure are a lot more shitty content creators that are rising in today's climate, because I'll be real, guys. Today's climate promotes backstabbery. And it, it does. It does. Basically, it does promote all of the bad behaviors. Because the problem is, like, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It's like, you might as well do it, right? Like, is it if, if you took, like, an action and, like, it has no cooldown and it has, like, no mana cost and, like, it does, like, a ton of damage, like, why wouldn't you keep doing it? It just fucking does. It promotes being a fucking snake. And you guys can probably tell, guys, how many fucking snakes have I had to deal with in my life? A fucking lot. I've had to deal with a fucking lot. I had to 1v9 these fucking snakes and rip all of their fucking heads off. And thankfully, things have been pretty fucking peaceful ever since and we all know that shit now let me continue on here asman was a guy has been there for me no matter what in any situation that i've ever had to deal with he's helped me deal with bullshit from other really nasty fucking people without a second question asked when i have felt lost he has always provided insight in a way where i'm just like oh fuck why the fuck didn't i think of that the guy has helped me tremendously and i will never not appreciate how much of a good friend he's been to me i will say this and this is the part that i want to get to uh oh despite everything here's the but we've talked about and we've done i would like show some accountability broad generalizations and blanket statements are never good things to do because they're too vague and a lot of people get caught in the crossfire who are otherwise harmless individuals this is like so easy to fix guys if this is actually the truth if this is actually the truth say i made like a big blanket statement say I, i'm just gonna um let me let me think of um okay say like you make a a statement that is too broad it like encompasses too much you can like step back and say oh i i misspoke what i actually mean is this and you clarify your you clarify your point like yeah yeah yeah. it's it's a little too broad what i actually mean and you know maybe you misunderstood me but what i actually mean is this you don't have to go full like full fallback you know what i mean blanket statements mm. are always stupid okay you can't ever overgeneralize anything mm. and and don't get me wrong am i trying to say that i haven't done that no of course i've done that We've it's, all hard done it. it, 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 it's, it's hard to it's hard to because when you're talking about uh, you're, you're you're kind of appealing to like what people's general understandings of our things because obviously there are many factors and there's always all, all it takes is like you know you know one you know one one uh uh it, it just it just takes one anomaly in order to like break that whole thing down but like very obviously you're not talking about anomalies right is that has been made one of the worst blanket statements on one of the most sensitive topics on the internet and nobody wanted to hear that shit because that was way too vague and that was way it was fucking stupid okay 
I don't think it was vague at all. Uh, Okay, and me, as someone who loves the guy, can admit... I could get into it, but we're on Twitch. And I'm not friends with Hassan, so... And it was fucking stupid. Now, am I going to go live on the internet? I don't have the immunity, you know. Condemn him and call him a racist? No. I am going to call him fucking stupid, though. And he knows that he's fucking stupid. Because he shouldn't have done that shit. He made a bad fucking call. But I'm not going to call my homie a fucking racist. He was just a fucking idiot. That's my opinion on that. And I'll be real, I still love the guy. Because I... It's a good take, I think. I'm not the guy who's going to abandon somebody when they make a retarded ass mistake mistake what i'm gonna say man is hey that was pretty stupid maybe not do that again that's pretty much it as far as taking guys he literally did the same thing with tibet okay i, I don't want to fucking hear it i don't want to hear it next goes is it over i have no fucking idea would i still do it absolutely fucking Hassan made the exact same argument about tibet that has been gold made and he's fine and i don't want to fucking hear it yeah. Thanks, thanks for the sub. Thanks, thank you, Restless Tiger. Say, thank you. But before I say them, I also yeah, I don't want to go into it, but you can look it up. Video, but here's my honest take on what. Thank you so much I for the prime. Exactly thank you, Restless Tiger. Hey man, you got a free vacation. Congratulations. That's big. Mm. And I'll be real, man. I was the first to congratulate him on a free 14 day vacation. That's big. Bro gets to chill out. You know. Talk to these busty Asian women on the internet. Jerk off. Play World of Warcraft. I agree that his shit was getting uh, pretty out of control. Him, him and his community over the past two years, and trust me, I've noticed it. Okay, we all we all know. He got caught during the wrong ago. meta. We can talk about it, and maybe that's my maybe that's my bias. That I, I know what happened years ago, and I understand what kind of sent him down like this dark spiral of farming based farming trues to pretty much anything. Hey guys, women suck. Am I right, man? Where's my <laughs> beer? You know, I understand. I mean, that's kind of funny. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I understand the direction that. <laughs> yeah, clip know. it, clip it, guys, clip it, <laughs> clip it. Tectone, Tectone says a uh, misogynistic comment. Clip it. <laughs> Out of his chat was going, and don't get me wrong. Do I condemn the roaches? No, I funny as fuck. But you gotta understand, I'm from an edgier side of the internet. I played League of Legends. I did the all chat. The shit that I've said on the yeah, internet is fucking same. horrible. If my League of Legends all chat logs ever get leaked, I'm out of a career, man. I'm just keeping a buck. I say horrible shit i'm not gonna fucking lie i don't pretend to be this fucking snowflake who's like pg brand friendly i don't do that shit I and mean, we all talk fucking shit do i mean it not really but I'll, I'll say anything just to piss people off i think it's hilarious here's what i highly recommend for zach take these two weeks off to really just readdress retarget and recalculate where you really want it what you really wanted i can't tell you better yet i will do you guys know when i see asmongold looking the most distraught the most distressed uh the most uncomfortable. Do you want to know when? Do you want to know when he looks the most uncomfortable? Mm. Every time that I remind him that, bro, you're 34 of uncomfort. It's not a show. It's not an act. I know that bro is not, he's not where he wants to be in life. There are things that he wants to do in life that he's just not fucking doing. He Wait, really? He's doing like really well. He's like probably multimillionaire. What's he not do? He's multimillionaire. He just talks about it. Wait, what? He needs to take these two weeks off. He must to... have think. He must have like some goals that you know. Honestly, back up. Actually, actually true. Actually, I agree with that. Reevaluate what he stands for and what he believes in and where he wants to take his content. Because I'm going to be real. I can understand it now. That, and I'm going to just be real. One of the things that I will never, ever forgive Asmund, and well, this is serious. Uh -oh. This is real. Uh oh, I'll never forgive him for. And I love Asmund, but he betrayed my trust recently. And uh -oh. one of the things that I'm never going to forgive him for is saying that Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero is a good game. <laughs> what? Hey, wait, what? What? Okay, I have a question. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How many times did Vegeta kick his ass? How many times did Vegeta kick his ass? Monkey Vegeta, how many times? Someone tell me. How long did it take him to beat it? 40 minutes. It's just not. We all know it's fucking trash. Yeah, the Lord. <laughs> easy. Oh my God. He'll never forgive that piece of shit. <laughs> I'm the one at fault for struggling on Great Ape. Okay? That guy can suck my balls. That guy can suck my balls. And listen, <laughs> Asmund, buddy boy, I know for a goddamn fact that you are horrified of 1v1 ing me in anything. Cause dude, you know, one v one, dude, one dog, v one him, one v one him in, in Dragon Ball. T strong going daddy up on you. And you know that's the truth. Cause bro knows he's old. His 34 uh, year old me. fingers just fucking can't keep up. Bro is a goner. 
Okay, bro is a goner. Let's be serious now, sorry. I, I, I'm trying to not get pissed off by all this. The amount of messages that I got were just like, you're never gonna talk to this fucking racist ever again, are you? Ah, uh, fuck insane. off, My man. DMs have been blown the fuck up. Guys, I'm still good with Asmin, and uh, I really don't care to say that. Dude, you know what's funny is that shit does happen. Dude, that shit did happen to me, dude. Like, oh, like, did you see what, like, X person did? You're not gonna keep talking to them, are you? Dude, that literally, that, dude, people literally DMs me shit like that, too. Uh, dude, that, that's 100% real. Uh, however, yeah, he needs to not overgeneralize. Fucking, ever again. fucking rats. That's pretty much it. But uh, I don't worry about rats. my friends when they fuck up. I just say, hey, bro, maybe we don't do that dumb retard mm. shit anymore. Here's what I highly recommend for Zach to do over the next two weeks. Clean your room. Why, dude? This is so judgy, Tectone. So judgy, man. What the fuck? I'm trying to relax a little bit. Definitely Clean room. Get to the fuck. What are you, gym. Jordan Peterson? Like, what is, what is, dude? Drink more water. Like, my room is fine, too. And honestly, I think bro needs, like, a cat. Mm. Like, something where he can practice compassion. You know what? True, though. Like, actually having a cat... Like, or not, not even just a cat, like a dog too. Like any kind of like sort of thing that like, like a living thing that, that uh, wants to hang out with you and like you take care of it and stuff like that to some level. I say to some level because I have like automatic everything. Right. <laughs> Something that he can have to just, just because yours is cleaner doesn't to, mean it's clean. To stay connected to reality, like get a fucking pet and take care of I'm not good at clean guys I'm not good at cleaning it's like it's like you know some people aren't good at playing games some people aren't good at playing games or like other things I'm not good at cleaning that's like my that's my negative <coughs> that's what I'm bad at I'm bad at I'm bad at that and uh organization I'm bad at that Okay. Good care of it. Clean your house, get an animal. You can remember what it is to be human. I'll be real, guys. Zach's life is just strange. He doesn't do other shit. When the mm. fuck would he have time to be compassionate? You know, like really fine. Dude, honestly, it would be like, dude, he could put, he, dude, dude, hear me out. He could, he could business expense that cat. What do you guys think, chat? He could totally business expense that cat. Everything. He business, like, he buys the cat, buys like the automatic litter box, the automatic feeder the automatic water thing and then you business expense everything and the cat and then you just have the cat on screen right because people would love that people would love that it's like like can you imagine like how much more people would like asmin gold stream if like the cat randomly like every now and then like jumped up on top of them no totally business expense it'd be good for business it would be really good for business actually i'm, I'm not even joking like it, 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 i'm not memeing guys i'm not memeing it actually would be like incredible <clears throat> A, a outlet to just give his love to like oh like i have eggy eggy's my cat in case you guys don't know he's a three and a half year old Maine coon and he's my favorite thing in my entire life and he keeps me connected he Wait, what did he say can you say that on can you say that on twitch he does he truly does keep me connected <laughs> to the real world and he's the cutest fucking cat you'll ever see i love him to fucking death Let's clean our house reevaluate our morals make sure you're heading in the direction of life that you want to be headed get a fucking cat dear god bro get a girlfriend knock her up the best cats uh, no, no 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 the the best cat is savannah cats savannah cats are the best cats that's also why they're the most expensive because they're the best i mean obviously right like obviously if it was like not the best gear it wouldn't be like the most expensive okay just do something <clears throat> to be human no 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 it's go it's, to the gym lift a little bit and then after the video we'll do uh we'll do any questions you guys have from yeah let's uh let's pull this shit up hey guys i wanted to talk to you all about what my reason was for getting suspended on twitch and also what my plans are going forward i'm gonna try and structure this video into two parts okay listen his room his room is way more messy than mine look at this he's got like move to the left that's way more way more messy than mine right mommy mommy that's more messy right dude he has a he has a vein plushy plushy over here or the first part is gonna be me talking get a new fucking webcam man that's true that, that webcam is pretty bad <laughs> Like, you're not fooling anybody with this 1999 Logitech webcam, bro. You're a multi-millionaire. Like, like, what the fuck are you doing with this camera? You know, though, he doesn't really live like a multi-millionaire. Nah, I kind of, I kind of, you know what's funny? I have a friend that's also a millionaire, but you wouldn't be able to know. Like, if you, if you, like, hung out with, with him, you would not know he was a millionaire. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is this, man? Talking about the Twitch suspension. Second part is going to be talking about myself. And the first thing I want to start off with is something that um, I know it might sound a little bit insincere because of how ridiculous this is, but I really mean it. And if you listen to the whole video, I hope you can see why. Everybody sure. who's come and spoken out and talked to me and said stuff about me, uh, you know, aside from the, oh, you should kill yourself or something like that. Great feedback. Oh, by the way, he's talking about me. I said him. Uh, I want to say that I really appreciate you. And I think this has been something that's a long time coming. And I actually think that this is something that not only I deserved, but it's also something that I needed. I don't think he deserved it. I don't think so. I agree. And I, want I think it was very clearly taken out of context. It's very obviously taken out of context. I think if anything, you should have said, I don't know. It was it was taken out of context. For that is, but I want to start <laughs> off and just make not sure to the degree it was taken. It's because you you could have said that like oh yeah it was like maybe it was um multiple things. Well one like maybe it was a bad idea to like even address the issue in the first place um or talk about it at all. The idea that people think that he means that a bunch of innocent people should be genocided is I think it's very obviously taking it out of context. <laughs> Asman has lived his life as an edgy. And I think he now gets that it's time to clean, it's time to upgrade the wardrobe, <coughs> and it's time to grow the fuck up. That's actually very clear. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I made some comments about Palestine and also about Hamas, and you know. I will tell you guys though that um, I won't bend the knee. So like, if, if people take me out of context and they try to tell me to apologize, I'm just gonna tell them to fuck themselves, honestly. And if I get banned for it, whatever. Some just general, uh, you know, basically <coughs> opinions that were trivializing the genocide that's happening there. And I, I don't really want to like mince words or like try to like, oh, it's I wasn't time to grow up. Or, you that's know, why you know, I'll defend uh, people I, who I say the same things about, about a different it target. That was that's growing up. I said that yep. they didn't care uh -huh. about innocent people getting killed by another force by anything and i think that that's a horrible disgusting mean-spirited thing so like, is he here's the thing that i'm confused about like is he saying that he actually meant that is that what he's saying like don't care about innocent people like oh i wasn't justifying or you know promoting it uh i i said something about it that was disgusting okay i said that True. i didn't care about innocent people getting killed by another force by the thing is is i is he admitting that he said that? Because like from what he, I, I, I've seen it, I've seen I've seen the video, the video that we're all talking about. It's on, it's on Twitter. You can look it up yourself. I'm not going to play it on stream, but for, I, I didn't even that's not even what I took away from it. He, I think he's saying that he didn't realize he said that, even though that's not what he meant. Oh, OK, OK, fair enough. Anything. And I think that that's a horrible, disgusting, mean spirited thing to say. And I, I don't necessarily think that it was really racist, really. But when I'm using language like Palestinians or like the people there, rather than what my real language was, uh, I've always been very <coughs> outspoken and very against religious extremism. Of course. And I still am. I think that any Same. religion and any way of thinking that's going to cause you to put other people in like kind of positions below you as like, you know, like uh, gay people, women, uh, people with disabilities, Asmund and I have talked about our thoughts on religion quite a bit. Uh, obviously, you guys know, some of you guys may. I wouldn't say I'm religious. However, I do believe in uh, and the afterlife due to my schizophrenia. Yeah, probably. Uh, but Were he's schizophrenic? Just extremism is and has always been a problem. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like to tie it to current world issues that were other countries. It's His biggest mistake was bringing Hassan on stream. Well, the problem is, like... <sighs> It was kind of an unfair matchup as well um because hassan is that's his that's what he does you know what I mean like hassan is like a political sort of person um it's basically akin to i don't know if you guys have seen like video i'm sure you've seen these videos of like of like uh these people going to like college campuses i'll just use like ben shapiro as an example like ben shapiro will go to these college campuses and just absolutely slaughter like slaughter the kids like left and right there'll be like a group of like 10 kids coming up and like of course they have no shot they have no chance because ben has been doing this shit for like forever and they're like they're just a kid you know if you if you if you walk into like a counter-strike lobby and you go up against or the counter -Strike, you go valorant valorant, valorant more you go up into a valorant lobby and you're fighting against like you know freaking radiance and then you go up against a, you know radiant player and you're like this is like my first time playing like of course you're gonna get fucking slaughtered you know what I mean? like, 
<laughs> obviously and like that's not to say that it's not like entertaining because i mean if, a, if if there's a kid and they're talking like mad shit you know they come in there like i know what i'm talking about and then they get fucking absolutely handed by like a you know a high level player it's kind of entertaining you have to admit it's pretty funny but let's let's not uh let's not pretend like this wasn't a rigged matchup in the first place because asmin gold doesn't really like debate other people and hassan debates people all the time so like he knew exactly like what to say <clears throat> always well not only that too but i mean let's be real um hassan's point of view is afforded a certain amount of extra plot armor that's that's what i'll say been happening for a very long time in the past so it's, in, it's like a giga yeah, uphill yeah, battle for sides. like uh, asmin uh, to debate you guys Hassan. haven't ever looked into those i mean look it up man it's really not that good it's crazy what people will do when they believe it's for a <clears throat> higher power <clears throat> anything like that sorry catholic uh, i think that that's a really bad position to have and i really don't like that and i think that my problem what year did that happen? Uh, and my fault here was that I was making a criticism of religious extremism, and I made no effort, and I, I feel like almost, I've rewatched the clip, right, or a number of the clips, and it's like I've almost made an effort not to draw a distinction between the two things. I think that a lot of us here can easily say that we're against religious extremism. He should have, he should have just clarified his point. He should have just, like, went, he should, like, his apology, he should have just, he should have just basically said, like, listen, for all of you guys that are, like, too retarded to, like, understand what I was talking about, like, obviously, I don't mean innocent people. Because in ev in any population, there's going to be innocent people, right? Like, for instance, um, let's just go back in time to World War II, right? Do you think that literally every single German was like, yeah, you know, hail Hitler? Do you think, like, literally every single one was like, yeah, hail Hitler, like, like, let's go, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go Holocaust people? Like, do you think every single Jew I mean, not every single Jew, every single German thought that? Obviously not. Obviously not. We still went to war with them. And I am. But whenever I categorize everybody in the area, war is as fucked up. This, like, um, all, all war. All war is fucked up and messy. There's never going to be a case where you have people shooting bombs at each other, shooting missiles, rockets, bullets at each other, where not a single innocent person's blood is going to be spilled. The difference is. Are you doing it on purpose or not? That's the issue. <clears throat> and the thing that drives me insane, and I probably shouldn't even say this, but the thing that drives me insane is there's very clearly an event that occurred. There is an event that occurred where people did intentionally kill civilians. Are we just all gaslit into thinking that didn't happen? Like, I'm just confused. Like, like what are we talking about? Like, what are we even talking about here? You know what I mean? And like, I'm not even like a huge fan. I, dude, I'm, I'm being real. I'm not a fan of anyone. And I don't, I don't, I kind of have the same stance a lot of people have, like, like a lot of, I, I, I think this is, this is, I don't know whose stance, I'll just, I, I, I don't care, like, I really don't, like, I, I, I'm worried more about, like, what's happening, like, I don't think you can take care of other people's problems if you don't fix your own problems first, that's what I think, I think you should always fix your own problems in your own house, and your own family, before you even attempt to, like, actually solve problems for other people, this whole notion that, like, while our house is on fire, we should be concerned about, like, other people is, is so weird to me, it seems like, it just seems so dumb. And uh, I just, I'm just prefacing this by saying like, I'm not, I'm not like simping for either side. That being said, like, let's be real about like what's, what, what, uh, about that, that f historical fact occurring. A bunch of civilians were killed intentionally. War is always going to have civilians die. But the problem is when you do it intentionally. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's just how it is. Like, can you imagine, like, if, if people went into Germany being like, oh, okay, yeah, we gotta go clear the town, but, like, not a single civilian can die. What the fuck? Like, n nobody was ever held to that standard until, like, now. That's all I'm saying. I think that's about as neutral of a, of a explanation as I can give while being logical. Uh, then I'm the <clears> asshole, <throat> and I was the asshole. I had a lot of you guys tell me that, and it's taken me, this is what's so crazy about it, is that I think this has been going on now for like two years. I think that I've been slowly devolving into the most mean-spirited, uh, just, m like, like, I don't really even know what the word is for it. Like, the most mean- a dick. Inspirited, rude, like nasty, uh, like just callous, uh, psychopathic version of myself. Mm. I, I think that I- That's why guns are so fucking based, by the way. 
because the average person can like do you you can't really do that anymore because like even women can be armed relatively like to a relatively deadly level whereas like before like dude there's no shot like there's no there's no shot like when it was like melee weapons only there's no shot like women you're just you're just you're just screwed there's nothing you can do like you know figuratively and literally there's nothing you can do about it now that we have guns dude dude like women can hold down like a, a hold on the fort and like you know really deal significant damage it's crazy been devolving into this now i will say he's going very hard on himself and this is mainly just i would like to say that quite quite frequently whenever i have any type of issue or discourse whatsoever uh for our weekly check-in but yeah um you know he's been getting a lot of more eyes on him you know more eyes more pressure all that shit and a lot of my friends have told me this my dad has told me this he said you've got to chill out i will say though the the zach that you meet offline is a very 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 good uh, i would like to say that always at least with me uh always been good to me i don't really feel like he was a particularly mean person in the first place even before before this whole thing because he's talking about like how you see him on stream and stuff like I, I didn't really think he was like he basically talked shit to people that were shit talking him he never like really initiated the shit talking it was always like someone tried to shit talk him first and then he would shit talk them back, you know? I've been like, oh, he, he's, <clears throat> that old man doesn't know what he's talking about. Progressively and more mean. I finally had some level of accountability. But like, did the people he was mean to, like, did they deserve it? For that. And thank God. I, I look back at some of the things that I've said and done over the past two years. And number one is streaming way too fucking long. Who isn't a good dude according to you off stream? You want to know who's not a good dude off stream? You, are you asking me that straight up? You want me to just say who's a horrible person off stream? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, I'm good. There you go, Tecto. Now you're learning. Good for the business. Good job. About everything, obviously, right? But there have been ways that I've communicated and that'll be tomorrow's stream guys make sure to follow the ways that i've acted that are indefensible and i looking back on it it's just disgusting and it's something that when you get lost <clears throat> in the sauce and you want to know the truth though and like this this is just the truth literally everybody i don't think there's a single person i know that hasn't done a shitty thing in real life whether on purpose or an accident it's how you realize that like oh what i did was a shitty thing like you know i'm gonna move move past that or whatever back and <laughs> you know just getting hyper fixated this is like your entire life you lose a perspective on reality true and you lose a perspective on the world and i think that that perspective was brought into perspective yesterday and the day before um when i, I was making comments like this and uh i think asin's biggest issue is he doesn't get out and interact the common the common man he locks himself up in to use like a a kind of to use like a religious saying but we all fall short of god's glory that's what that's the whole thing and any like person that tries to pretend like they're fucking pure um i trust those people the least actually <laughs> He hangs out with maybe one or two of his childhood friends, talk to his dad, who's a war vet. Guys, I'll be real. As a guy who comes from a very racist family, man, the shit that you hear, it's not good. It's not good. Right? Once again, not, not, saying, not saying that his dad's racist. I'm saying, hey, man, my family was racist as fuck. But the shit that war vets will tell you about the world will give you such a pessimistic outlook on life. <laughs> To my dad, man. Talking about Asmund's dad's pretty liberal. I have no idea, bro. It is sad. I got, I got no idea. All I'm saying is my dad makes me think the world is ending every other month. I, I, I feel, I, I feel so stupid. I, I, it's crazy. So I, I'm getting all these people making negative comments toward me. Everybody is telling me like, oh, go kill yourself. I hate you. Everything <clears> like this. Do you know who reached out to me and uh, they uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay? It's people that were Islamic and people that were had fucking family in Palestine. And I, how humiliating is that? How absolutely humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were, were bad. And I just 
I, I feel like such a fucking stupid asshole. I really do. I've always here. Here's just a, a, a general tip that will avoid you a lot of negativity in your life. And I when you think because you've had one bad experience with one person and that means every person that's like that is the same. Like, so let's say, for example, you have one issue with one white guy and now you're saying, oh, all white. That's just not how the world works. Just avoid blanket statements and overgeneralizations. You'll have a much happier, more positive outlook and just prevent yourself from getting into a lot of shit that's easily avoidable. Always been a, uh, you know, it's like I've always been kind of like an atheist. It's like it's like when one member of OTK fucks up. So now they say, oh, all of OTK is <clears throat> fucked up. No, OTK is just fucked up because OTK is fucked up. It's been fucked up for years. It's not because of what Tectone said. We just been fucked up. Yes. And um, uh, even as, as a young kid, I was raised Roman Catholic and I was always very defiant towards it. And um, I, I've always had a negative opinion of religion. And I've also had a negative opinion, opinion of religious cultures. And I, I think that really, I think that opinion is definitely shaped by the media that I've created and the media I've created for myself. And then also just the media that exists, the media that I've chose to seek out as well. And I think that that media has allowed me to have certain uh, predisposition positions and certain biases that, that the truth is that ha don't have any sort of relation to what my own real life has been experienced. All right, so here's a great comment. So even when watching an Asmongold video, you talked about yourself. Okay, let me ask you a question. So how is relating parallels from streamer to streamer from issue to an issue a problem? How is saying my personal experience with this was that? It's called human nature. Yeah, it's dumb. By the way, it's called obviously, human nature. Obviously, when you're reacting to something, like you have to like bring in your own personal experience because that's the lens in which you view the world like what's even the point of like reacting to something if you're not actually providing your own input from your own point of view why even why even care that's a dumb comment that when people see things that relate to them they like to share personal stories and insights to where they can show how they felt in a similar position now you might just be fucking dumb that is what humans do yep Anyways, or my own real life experience has been, excuse me. And so I, I've been spending a lot of time talking to those people and I've seen people like fans of mine, like I had viewers messaging me on discord, like, you know, why, why are you saying this? Like, do you want to talk? Do you want to like, you know, I'm, I'm willing to talk to you and like, you know, like, let, let's try to work this out. Right. We love it's crazy how Dragon Ball Z sparking zero caused my crash out and asthma. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's how bad the fucking game is, guys. <laughs> Last sparking zero joke. Last sparking zero joke. I'm done. And, and these are people that messaged me in like 2016, 2017, 2018. Like, I love your content. I love your stream. And, and now they get to hear this from me. And I just feel like such a stupid, belligerent fucking asshole. I really do. And I'm sorry. I, I really am. I think that was the first time I ever heard him say those words. That is a rare moment in time. Legit. I didn't even know he could say those words. It sounded good, too. Dude, I don't know. I still it sounded good. I still, Man, th I still think he got look gaslit. Baldy go. I still think he's getting gaslit, guys. Like... <laughs> Good shit, man. A sorry from Asmund is huge. I, I think that it's extremely fair to criticize- uh, Dude, me too, Ragnar. And I think that it's extremely unfair to categorize everybody in part of that group as religious. You wanna know why I think he said I'm sorry? It's because I think he actually fucking meant it. And I think that's great. Because I'll be real, with the shit that he said, uh, this isn't even in the top 20 worst things that he's ever said. But he is showing remorse because I do think he understands that he fucked up, that uh, grouping all these people into one group just, you know, isn't good. It's, it's a lot of uh, unnecessary crossfire. Extremists. I think it is. And I'm, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, I've just been a fucking dick. And I, it, it's weird because I, yesterday I woke up and I didn't know if I was going to get suspended or not. Well, I mean, the, 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 th like, I think the, I think the issue here is the people who are demanding an apology, that's actually like the perfect spot to pause it. Like, <laughs> oh, what a freeze frame. What a freeze frame, man. Holy shit. <laughs> He's a point of view. He saw Caesar King. All right. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, uh, the, yeah, I think the people who are demanding an apology and are like, oh, I'm not going to buy your computers or whatever anymore. I think a lot of like, I, I don't think it's all of them. There, there might be actually a couple people that they're telling the truth here, but like, I want to say like 90% of those people actually didn't even watch him anyway and don't even really care. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Always apologizing to the ones asking if he's okay. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know what? You know, Julio, that is a, that is that is true. That is a good. That is a. If, if that's what he means, that is not. I would probably say that too. 
I planned on streaming and everything, and uh, I actually got a text message from one of my mods. They said, oh, I heard about the suspension, I'm sorry. And I was like, I remember I was like driving, and like, you know, you'd think that like your heart rate would go up, but if anything, I felt more relaxed. I felt like finally I have a moment to just take a step back and breathe my life, and this- <laughs> Number one's probably having a kid. Uh, guys, when you let your work consume you, you become your work. With the amount of abhorrent bullshit that- I've always wanted to be anime, so fuck it, you know? The husband has to view on a daily basis. And, you know, with, he's been, you know, he used to play World of Warcraft. Not sure if you guys actually remember that. This guy used to be a World Sounds of Warcraft. Sounds pretty good to me. A good deal. Good deal. He used to play games with this guy called fucking McConnell. But what is Asman's stream now? Him constantly reacting to the worst people possible and the worst content mm. possible. The news. Bro's job has been to review the fucking news and weigh in on global politics every day for years. Uh huh. And when you get that shit in your head, when you actually turn on CNN, that shit is poison in your mind. That shit is awful. Because here's the thing, the news these days just wants you to be angry. And they don't even want you to know what you're angry about. They're gonna say shit's fucked here, shit's fucked there, shit's fucked everywhere. Every now and then you'll get a moo dang. And that's great. Wow, look at this cute- I feel like that's like every- all the news though. All of the news is like that. Little hippo, isn't that fun? Anyways, 9,000 children just burned in a fire! And it's your fault! And it's the liberals' fault! And now all the right wings are, they're killing old people. Oh God, what's going on next? It's fucking misery. That's why I don't watch this shit. But yeah, the, new, the news is pretty fucking awful. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of, I don't really watch any mainstream news anymore. Unless it involves like a, I don't know, like a debate or something like that. I don't really like to watch it. Unfortunately, it seemed to poison all yeah, all these heads right. too. Bro needs to go to what was it? Taiwan? Where the fuck is Mudang at? This is gonna be kind of the second part, by the way, of the video. Uh, comments that I made uh, were pretty much about religious extremism. Mm. I think it's bad, uh, but I've categorized a lot of people in that way. That was unfair. It's wrong for me to have done that. Uh, I said something that was bad. I should not have said that. I should have chosen my words more carefully. I didn't do that. I doubled down on it. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. That's pretty much. I was a fucking asshole. I'm as a piece of shit i'm sorry i don't know what else to say here's my opinion on that. i think people can do bad things and not make them a bad and i'm glad he apologized and i'm not gonna hold this hold on wait i, I want to hear it I'm again glad he apologized. people can do bad carefully i didn't do that i've categorized a lot of people in that way that was unfair it's wrong for did he do that didn't he i'm pretty sure the statement the de defining statement at the beginning yeah i don't think he did that like, I see, this is the thing is, like, I wonder if, like, he's actually, th th this is why I'm confused, I guess, because, and, and I actually had a conversation with, like, another person about this earlier, uh, who was telling me, like, oh, man, did you hear, like, what Asmin goes? I was like, what do he say? And then, like, I watched the video, and then I transcribed exactly what he said, and I was like, okay, there's the qualifying, there, there's, like, the statement that is basically talk, it's defining the terms, and then he says the thing after he defined the terms. If you go outside of that definition, then it doesn't make sense. Then, you know, isn't that on you? I can say the name, uh, no, your name. It wasn't you. It wasn't you, Holland. I was talking to someone else about it. Another person that was like, oh man, like, like, Asmin, like, said all this, like, vile stuff. And then I, I literally talked to them about it. I was like, okay, well, like, here's literally what he said. I, I, I copied, like, I listened to it and then I transcribed what he said. And then I pasted it back to the person and I said, okay, this first part, defining statement and then the statement after is in relation to the definition and then he was like oh you're right and i was like yeah so that's why i'm confused is like he's are you saying is he saying that the defining statement was wrong and that he actually did mean everybody i don't get it like <laughs> I don't get it. It's, it'd be like, it'd be like if like somebody, uh, if, if, if people were like, you're racist and the other person goes, no, 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 no. He, that's not what he meant. He defined it this way. He said this and then he was, he actually was talking about these people. And then, the, and then, and then the person comes out and goes, oh yeah, yeah. I was actually racist. You're no, you're wrong. Yeah. I meant that. I'm, I, I, I was being, I was being racist. Like what the fuck? <laughs> have done that. What? Uh, I said something that was bad. That's so I fucking weird. I should have chosen my words more carefully. I didn't do that. I doubled down on it. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. That's pretty much. I was a fucking asshole. I'm as a piece of shit. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, Here's it's almost like he got gaslit. I'm so confused. I think people can do bad things and not make them a bad. And I'm glad he apologized. And I'm not going to hold this against. That's him. true because people make mistakes. His whole life. People make mistakes. And so, actually, I do know what else to say. I, 
I don't like making apologies. The problem now is his community. Look at his video comment. He, like Moses, will have to the sheep. I'm surprised he even talk about it risking their brand. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. He alone must change the roach's <laughs> mind. You know, maybe the world isn't that bad of a place. And that will be his penitent. As now that the community, which once again, listen, you gotta understand, the roaches have always been. <laughs> okay, the roaches have always been. But man, they hate women. Man, they hate women. <sighs> and you know, man, do they though? Oh boy, he's gotta take responsibility. Responsibility for his children, man. He's gonna have to daddy up on him. Because I think words don't. But what if they don't, though? It, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's like such a generalization. Um. Like what? 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 Thanks for the follow. Oh, look, thank you. But I do think changed actions and changed behaviors do. And so you can take my apology as hopefully better content. And if you're not seeing that, I want you to hold me accountable. As when you get back, I expect you to play Fear and Hunger. Uh, and it's a fucking joke. That's that what I, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, joke. Legend. That's what uh, I mean. This is me off every fucking day. Isn't the generation, uh, I know bro's gonna like generalization in itself so for him to say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Play Funger. Hopefully this time I won't be stupid enough to. And bro needs to finish Cyberpunk. And if not, I don't accept your apology. Uh, so the main thing is that for the past like I would say like 10 years or so uh, if you I'm gonna be real I don't want to see as talking about a single political thing for at least two weeks horrified because I believe <laughs> the election season and like I, I guess this is what I was talking about earlier like maybe that's not the kind of content that he wants to do but I feel like that's kind of what his viewers want and it's not necessarily that I'm sure there is a large amount of people that do want the political content, but I think a lot of people just want to know his opinion on stuff. Like they, they, they just want to hear what he has to say. I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. Moment he's on, which I'm like, horrified. I want to know what he has to that's say. That's gonna be a fuck fest. That is gonna be a f man. Oh, good old Donald Trump. And guys, I, I'll say it, man. I'm voting for the bastard. Okay, I'm voting for Trump. You want to know why? Let me tell you why. If Donald Trump was going to ruin this country, he would have done it the first time. And if Kamala Harris was going to save this country, she would have done it the first time. That's why Trump's got my vote. Hey, man, I ain't, I ain't afraid to say it, man. Fuck him. I ain't afraid to say it. Fuck him. Hopefully he goes full gaming for a little bit. Just calms the fuck down. It would be great. Look at my life like this. I the great MAGA king. Ago, maybe eight years ago, streaming was like this. My <laughs> YouTube was like this. And now I would <laughs> say that my life and streaming are basically the exact same size. And what I mean by that is that streaming is my entire life. True. Doing this is Twitch my has entire the existence. And I think that the process... <laughs> Uh, uh, Tsunami says, Twitch has no standards. Asmin can say this and get banned, but his song can show literal terror. <laughs> Didn't he have like literally like a terrorist guy like on his show? Oh my god. The funny thing is, is that, like, Hassan has said literally the same thing as Asmin, like, you know, at Israel instead of, um, Palestine. He said literally the same thing. The process of that has been extremely unhealthy for me. And I th <laughs> you think? think that what it's done is that it's allowed me to become such a one-dimensional person. I'm not even a person. Like, H Hassan has made the, the culture, the, the, uh, what do you call it? The, this culture is better than a different culture. He's made that comparison before. So it's like, it's just kind of weird that like, like to have like him and everyone else go after Asmin for that. Because the thing is, is listen, guys, this is a bit of a hot take. Well, no, you know what? It's not a hot take. It's a normal take. It's a normal logical take. Okay, guys, let's, let's not be retarded. Okay. You can have a culture that is worse than another culture. I don't, I don't see how that's fucking weird. Put it this way. Okay. Put it this way. Which culture do you think is, do you think that that German culture now is better than Nazi Germany, Germany culture. They're both cultures, right? Can you, can you say like, oh, oh, I don't know, man. Like, you can't say that, man. The Nazi culture is just as valid. Like, come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. Like, are you fucking crazy? Like, dude, like, like, it, this is so basic. Like, I don't understand. Like, why is everyone, why is everyone so fucking stupid? Oh, no, I've seen that. I've seen Hassan's, Hassan's, uh, Hassan's take on Tibet. It's literally the same thing. It's literally, it's literally what Asmin said about, about Palestine. It's literally the same thing. Like, dude, what the fuck? You know, like, let's, like, you can't be serious. You can't, you, you can't be serious, like, saying that, oh, like, you can't say that. You can't say that, like, one culture is, like, worse. There, there's no culture that is worse than other culture. It's just different. Like, dude, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, shut up. Like, you, dude, you're dumb. Just come on, guys. Come on. Let's stop. Let's stop this. Let's stop this fucking circus. All right. This is it. it this literally would not hold up to even like th this. This thought does not hold up to five brain cells worth of scrutiny. Like, get out of here. 
and Dark Souls, I'm going hollow or something. <laughs> and I think about like all of the, you know, like I, I made a list of all of the things that I'm not doing in my life that I should be doing. And I was writing it down and I'm like, you know, fucking like, I'm just going, going, going. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, bro wrote brush his teeth. He's like, oh fuck, I haven't done that shit. Yeah, you could say that too, Fast Feel. So, so what? Like, like is American culture better now or was it better during Jim Crow? Was it better during slavery? Which is it? Which is, is it just as valid? Is like, is like the culture, is, is it the same? I think it'd be short. Bro, if Adam like, get comes, out of here, back, man. comes back with a shaved head, a full mouth and teeth, a clean room and a cat. I mean, Jesus Christ. I think you should get a cat. You imagine, I think that's a good... hey guys, I went to China and or I met a dog. with the monks. Or Depends. I think cat, actually, the actually, the, actually, he should get a cat. He should get a cat instead of a dog. Um, Because dogs are a lot more maintenance. Uh, you have to walk them all the time and like they you have to let them out to shit and uh, they're 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 smelly they like they like require too much attention they like always want to hang out with you whereas cat like cats like do, do want to hang out with you but like not all the time so you have like alone time like like like, like the cat the, like a dog will get depressed if you don't hang out with it whereas like a cat is like kind of more resilient to that uh cats clean up after themselves generally and um they they don't stink generally and you know they, they they shit on their own in like a box and like it's really easy to train them to do that because it's part of their natural behavior anyway and uh they also use up less food all right boys what a day sort of <clears throat> trans like i'm like whenever i have everything written line for line it's like oh my god i'm winning my life i've been existing and i want to at a certain point actually try to live my life i don't think that i've been doing that and so what am i gonna do how am i gonna do that differently and what does that mean for for my stream etc i think that i'm gonna cut down a little bit on streaming quite as much and I think thank God because I need viewers man at noon hits and Baldy goes live I lose 15% of my viewership and that shit sucks balls. Hey, man I advocate mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know what I think Asmin does need a little bit more mental health You know, maybe we take a couple months off I think I'm also going because I'm just a good friend that I'm worried about him. this is gonna sound like I I, I I hope I can say this in the right way mm -hmm. I feel like the main times I stream nowadays are at other people. Are when I'm laughing at other people. And it's a good feature. I look yep. back on videos that I did from two. And welcome to Steak and Eggs. I say dumb shit and then Asmund laughs at it. It's great. Hey, new video every fucking Monday. 2020, 2000. Friday. 2016 and. Pre watch? No, I've done a podcast with a guy. 17. And yeah, I've always been an asshole. Holy shit, I've been way more of an asshole. It is, it's insane. And it's a night and day difference. And I've had, again, everybody in the world telling me this, including my own dad. And I've just ignored them. And finally, it's like, you know what? Maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe, maybe maybe this is too far. Maybe Will I still need to be on Steak and X. We'll talk about it again after the which video. Which is why I think that, like, getting suspended in this. Uh, I hope that it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And I don't know whether that's going to be true, but I'm going to try to do things differently. So, like, I, I think, let's watch the rest of it, and I'll give my final sure thoughts on it. To that reality. And so, uh, what are those things that I'm going to be doing differently? Um, the first thing is that Brush I think I'm going to try. I've been very much trying to, like, maintain a consistent... Dude, he brushes his teeth. His teeth don't look that fucked up, okay? Come on, man. ...and schedule with my stream, and I will continue... His teeth are pretty nice, actually. ...to do that. Oh, God. Uh, I want to get up and go to bed at relatively the same time. I want to live a normal life. And also, I want to... Those are fake. Oh. ...spend maybe a little bit less time streaming, and I want to spend more time creating my own videos and doing my own things and spending time on things that I really enjoy. And basically, just like expanding my existence as a person. Great. I think that ever since I started, like, go ETA to the gym. And I got involved with that. <laughs> and then we had, like, other Starforge and, like, Mad Mushroom and, and Mythic and everything. I think the podcast is good for Asmund. Taking that away from him only hurts his progress. Uh, personally, I agree with you. I mean, I, I would be. <laughs> I would be a straight up liar if I didn't admit that I take every opportunity to try to push Asmund in doing what's the best for himself. Whether that's get a new fucking match, have people over at his house. Why do you need people over at your house? And why do you need a new mattress? What if you have a good one already? What if you like how it works? Man, this is so judgy, guys. You have someone over at your house. Look at this extrovert talking. Do basic social activity. I've offered to clean this guy's house at times. It's been <laughs> off stream. Hoping to God it eventually happens. I mean, I mean, just look at this shit, man. There's like five fucking boxes of Chipotle. Dirty laundry everywhere. Like, this shit's fucking nasty. Like, I honestly, it's been too much for me to handle. 
Uh, it's been combined. His mattress was 30 years old. Yeah, but what if it's like a really nice one? You know, what if it's a really nice mattress? You know, though, to be honest, though, having a good mattress actually like makes a huge difference. If you guys like, like, honestly, like no meme, if you actually want to invest in something like getting a good mattress is actually super good because it improves the quality of your sleep, which makes everything else better completely too much for me to handle and it, i i've i've been losing my mind dealing with it and i try to hide it the best i can because you know i i try to do the best right i try to do my best i, I you know it doesn't matter how hard it gets you just keep going you just keep going it doesn't matter and eventually it does matter and i think that i've negatively affected a lot of them and i also don't want to talk about that just in the context of just like this recent controversy uh, I want to talk about this in the context of the last two years. I think she watched Emmy and Tecton going to his house as 100% an intervention as uh, a leader in a lot of cases to them. And I think that I've let a lot uh, of send it to me, Methylene. Uh, and I'll watch it like tomorrow I've done that are positive as well. But I think that one thing this thing has taught me, this whole situation has taught me, it's made me realize as Tom has made me realize is that um, I need to you should replace your pillows every two years to imagine a mattress mind. dude you guys want to know the best pillow ever is the fucking um what's it called this is the the best pillow and it's like not even close like by far the best pillow it is called the purple harmony pillow by purple is the best pillow ever you don't need a pillow after that one that pillow is so ridiculously good it's it's life-changing it's really expensive though I think um yeah it's like 200 bucks it's a $200 pillow, but it's so good. It is so good. It is so worth it, you guys. So worth it. Trust me. Control. I need to. That pillow is fucking insane. It's insane. It's like nice and cool. It's just bouncy enough. Like it. Oh, it's just it's so good. It's everything about it is good. It's like so springy and like bouncy and soft and like it holds its shape. It doesn't like fucking have a hole in the middle. Like. Dude, I don't have a referral link. I, I, I used to uh, for a bit. Um, I, I, I had one. Um, th I, I did like a small, small sponsorship with them like a bit ago. And that's kind of like got it. And I tried it. I was like, dude, this pillow is actually OP. And now now all of I have I have a I, ha I only use that pillow. And then I, I have them in the guest room as well. Like, just get my life to <laughs> <laughs> Blow just flipped the mattress and boom, two extra years. <laughs> For real. It's That's because it's like springs, right? It's like springs get fucked up. It's oh, actually, we bought it. Mommy, did we really? Oh, right. I bought the, the I bought the butt pad. <laughs> I bought the butt pad with the sponsorship thing. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. We 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 actually took the sponsorship because we liked we liked purple in the first place. Right, right. It's insane. Let's like, solve everything. I think about it and it's just it's in shambles. Oh, I don't know, man. Like, no hollow. I don't know. Basically fucked. And what's crazy is, what's crazy is he's, he's right. I mean, you go and- It's like a seat house, cushion. And the things that you will see there are, I mean, you guys have seen the video. It's fucking horrifying. I mean, the guy is living with rats. Is he know? really? Is that like, like a meme? He's got, guys, is that a meme or is he literally, is there literally like rats scurrying about and like there's shit on the ground? Is that real? It's real. Like broken windows. It's not a place and it- Okay, listen, like, like cockroaches are kind of unavoidable, honestly. Like- it is not possible to like have a situation where like it is impossible for a cockroach or an ant or a spider or anything like that to like get into your house. There, you, there's always a possibility of it occurring uh, because sometimes like you open the door and then they get in. No, it's true. I mean, not like all the time. They're like, like, like how many are we talking? Like, is it like one? Like, as in, as in, like a, a, a cockroach crawled on his shoulder during stream one time. Like, that's dude. Like that, that's dude. That's not a big deal. What the fuck? Like one is it one or two is not like a big deal. <clears throat> Just seems like a guy who's unwilling. They lived on to Mars. Go, watch uh, the video tomorrow. Mars. Okay, I will. And I'll watch forward. it. And in that reality, comes more and more bitter and more and more resentful of what's happening. In and the guy needs to fucking let go. And the guy needs to move the fuck on because this isn't life. Isn't how it was. Things have changed. And he needs to, he needs to become <clears throat> more comfortable because his house screams someone who just, I mean, he still has his four-year-old fucking backyard. He, he, he need he needs to let go. I don't know. I still have my card capture Sakura toys. Is there anything wrong with that? And I'm going to take a step back from all of that. I'm going to step away from my leadership position. It's not that easy. Nobody ever said it was easy, but it's important. Position and like broken ones, but like sometimes they have like sentimental value. Oh, left outside in the rain. <laughs> OTK and okay, that's a little, little much I, then. I want to, and and they're fine with that. 
they respect that and I, I want to do this and I want to do this not only for them but mainly for myself so I can be a better version of myself for everyone and I want to apologize to all you guys my viewers that I've, I don't think I've lived up to that I think that I can be a lot better than what I am right now and I don't even think that I've been putting in half the effort that I should be in the way that I should be and I'm the weird dude the weird thing is, is like i feel like i feel like he was like strangely like relatable for being like down to earth because of that kind of stuff though you know like even if it's like kind of like cringe sometimes and a little bit like extra like bad i feel like it was different than like the streamers like kind of you know living up like the super high life you know what i mean and so my plan is to when i get on down that's kind of like one thing i really liked about him actually was that he was flawed. Uh, I'll keep streaming regularly, right? Um, and I, I want to focus more on trying to do things that are fun, trying to laugh more with people rather than af at people. Uh, I'll still laugh at this people unhealthy. once in a while, okay? Good, yeah. Well, yeah, True. you'll still be around. I'll be real, man. Asmund's good. He doesn't need to push for this type of political shit anymore. Now, that being said, it was nice having someone other than Hassan to listen. Mm -mm. Uh, but it would be nice for Asmund, where he actually is very happy. I mean, Asmund is and always will be a fucking... That's what he does. Mm -hmm. The moment he ends stream, he continues playing fucking games. He's hopelessly addicted. But yeah, we don't need to get into all this serious... You know, may maybe maybe just some random 30-year-old white men don't really need to talk about too much. Yep, just get back to trying to distract people from their day-to-day -day problems with good old Monster Hunter. <laughs> Let's not get it. They're ahead. both bad resources. True. The head of ourselves here. Um, but it's about a focus and it's about a um it's about a tone. I listen to my tone in the clip and I just sound like such a piece of shit. Really, at the end of the day, I sound like a piece of shit. I sound like a terrible person. And it's just <laughs> so mean. True. So mean and and just mean. True. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to be that person anymore. And uh I've I've spent a long time growing up uh, the time I did. Does he alt this video? I was video? an r slash atheism enjoyer. Not surprised. I have a very uh, negative opinion of a lot of religions. Uh, I've had the experience firsthand of the negative effects of Christianity and... Uh, yeah, I mean, I will admit, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen bro laugh in the face of, not to make this about myself, but usually when I talk about religion, he's like, no, bro, that, right? So, I mean, I mean, and you're allowed to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but religion is very good for a lot of people. It gives a lot of people who are hopeless hope, and I think that it's very... I don't want to guilt mm -hmm. religion as a whole. Sure, extremism causes a lot of people to do horrible fucking things. However, it pro provides a lot of light and a very, very dark world. The problem is that... um. <clears throat> the problem is that regardless of where you go and this is this applies to everything not just religion this applies to like charities this applies to um you know any sort of goody like we do things for the good of the the good of the people all of those those sorts of things in the end all of those organizations are ran by human beings and human beings are flawed. So just because the human beings are flawed doesn't mean that the system, that doesn't mean that the, the teachings are flawed. Does that make sense? So for instance, like if you had like, like say there was a charity that was like, oh, like, you know, we want to help out. Like what's like the, the, the easiest thing? Oh, we want to help out disaster relief. Like there was like, you know, let's just say, say that, you know, the, like recently there was a hurricane, right? Like say there was a hurricane and it was like, oh, like, you know, we want to do provide disaster relief and like take, take charity for people that like, you know, their homes got destroyed and stuff like that. Now let's say that organization was, was, was bad and that there are people in there that were uh, embezzling the funds. Does that make the idea of helping out people in need that got hit by hurricane, does that make the idea it doesn't. It means that there were humans that were that were uh, in charge of that specific aspect. Uh, in, 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 they were in charge of the actual organization, and they failed. They failed everyone else around them because they're humans, and humans do evil things. It, it has nothing to do with like the actual, you know, unless the actual teaching itself is 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 uh, you know abhorrent and bad. Just because a couple of people are bad eggs in it doesn't necessarily mean that the actual teachings is bad. It has nothing to do with it. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the face I see. And you day. can make the argument that, like, you can make the arg argument that Christianity, Islam, whatever, you know, Buddhism, Shintoism, whatever, whatever religion you want, you can make the argument that it's bad on the merits of its teachings. Being like, I had a bad experience at church, therefore all churches are, are bad, is, is, is kind of a retarded argument. Whenever I try to talk, anyways. You know, the way that I, I view 
that. Mm -hmm. And I've always read a lot of very bad things about Islam, uh, and I've made a lot of criticisms of it. I've talked to a lot of people about it. I've heard a lot about it. I, I've I've been like watching things about it, and I, I've been like hearing people telling me this is the way it is. But I've never seen. It. No, I've had a lot of bad experiences with churches, to be honest. Um, and, and most of those experiences are 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 human in nature. It's basically people that you know. You know, a tale as old as time, people trying to outdo each other and uh, tr people trying to, to, you know, play the game of trying to see who's better than the other person. Um, I mean, you know, many such cases, right? And uh, yeah, I would say a lot of people probably have a very similar experience. With <clears throat> Am I wrong there, guys? I'm sure we've all heard a lot about horrible shit. But it's a very important note that he says that he's never seen, which is very important as to not cast blame or hold any type of feelings uh, against someone when... I actually think... Wait, wait, what did he say? Uh, ...against someone when cast blame or hold any type of feelings uh, against someone when you aren't sure that that's the whole truth. Yeah, Western media definitely peddles that shit nonstop. I actually think Wait, that at, what? after all this, I think towards the end of next year, I think I'd like to visit the Middle East and see it for myself. Oh, weasel. Bro, you ain't going out of your house and you fucking know it. Uh, I want to see it for a historical perspective. I haven't left my house in like a week and a half. I think the last time I went, I went outside was it was to get the double. Mc, it was the day the double McChicken sandwich came out. When was that day? That was the last day I left my house. Double McChicken sandwich. Oh, you're right. Bobcats and lynxes. You're you're right, Methylene. You're right. Right. I would love to go to Istanbul. Hell no, nah, that's cat. Um, there's no uh, no ulterior motive. Hell no. Nah. Um, but it's for McDonald's. Just, yeah. I'd well, it wasn't just. I I think it was a McDonald's actually. Visit places like Saudi Arabia, Dubai, any of the other places. The chicken Big Mac. Girl. Sorry, that's right. Chicken Big Mac. That's what it was. Out of there, is, hell hey, no. This is the worst thing about what I said. Some of the places that I would want to visit, I might not be able to because. There the way that they're like just the internal strife, the actual literal wars that are going on, people being literally killed uh, there, and, and I might not be able to do that. But I, I, I want to do it and I want to see it for myself <coughs> because I, I don't like believing what people tell me. Same. And I think that when I do, I end up being a fool. Same. And I want to see it. I want to see it for myself and I want to experience it and I want to live my life. I, I'm going to try to. I wouldn't go there. I don't know, like clean up part of my house. I'm going to try to do this and, and I'm not going to hire a cleaner. As God, I said, you should. I was raised Roman Catholic. I view this as a penance. I think I need to do this for myself. Oh my God. I, need to take a I actually do have somebody that does the cleaning at my place. And um, the reason why, um, well, the thing is, is the truth is I'm, I'm really bad at cleaning. I'm really bad at it. The, th the thing is, is the way I, it's like, I don't know, it's it's and this might be like why, like my friends say I have ADD. It's like there are certain actions that they take me really long. And it's like anything that involves like organizing something takes me like 10 times as long as somebody else. Right. You know, how, like there's some people that they just suck at video games. I'm like that. But like for anything organizational. So like if it involves like doing like any sort of like secretarial task. I say this as I'm a guild receptionist, but don't worry about it. I can handle it. I can handle that because it has swords and magic. Okay. Don't look at me. Don't look, don't judge me. <laughs> if it involves like, like kind of like organiz organizational stuff, I'm like really bad at it. But, but see the thing is I can do it if like my mom is there and she tells me like, okay, put this here and put this here, then I can do it. But then if it's like me, it might be because I'm really indecisive about certain things. I have trouble with that. So like, because it takes me like 10 times as long to do it, I've like determined that the amount of like money I lose by doing that is actually like more than it would be to like hire someone to do it. Does that make sense? So it's not like, oh, I'm not going to do it because because I don't want to. I mean, which is sort of true. It's also that it's like a huge waste of time for me to do it because I could be writing in that amount of time, or I could be like preparing a stream. I could be contacting sponsorships. I could be doing um, any number of things instead of spending like, you know, spending 
10 hours for something that takes somebody who's like really good at it and like the person who like does like the cleaning is like really good like she's fucking focused she's like boom 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 clean everything right and me like dude i would be like where the fuck do i put this fucking thing like put it over here i guess and then like later on like I, I i take a step back like an hour later and i literally just moved everyone from i moved everything from like one part of the desk to like the next part of the desk and it's like just equally as messy accountability for bad okay, things that I've done to get this out of control and i don't need to get out of jail free card so i need to do that for myself and for my own closure as well and i think also i want to live for the the, <laughs> the the idiots out there that you know they're uh you know like looking to me to be a role model right oh not a good idea but um there are people that will see that and um they'll think maybe to themselves maybe i should do the same thing and if i can do that for one person um well i've already done it for myself i've already done a good thing and so it could only get better that's what my plan is i'm going i'm going to try to Hi, doc. How's it going, man? rethink my life i have had a lot of people reach out to me people i would have never expected reach out to me in ways that i never expected i understand that you know like i i'm i'm still very critical about you know religious you know fundamentalism sir? right but when you paint with such a broad brush that you just include an entire group of people you're not you're just being a fucking at you're being a piece of shit no you're being a fucking you're not but when you paint with such a broad brush that you just include an entire group of people i don't, I don't think he did Th th this is the thing that's confusing me is like the way he said it didn't seem like he was doing that to me because why would you have a why would you have a defining statement Wh why would he define it by saying the people who believe this and then make the statement after why would you define it in the first part of your phrase if you meant it as a broad br brush he's apologizing because th th that's how he sees it himself that he messed up you're not that's, you're just being that's a weird fucking, you're being a piece of shit no you're being a fucking okay and i've said this maybe about 30 times past hour broad over generalizations will never result in anything okay people need to be treated by a case-by-case -case basis same motherfuckers who say oh this one person did something bad that means all their friends also did something bad isn't that right internet and uh, guys mm -hmm. type one if you've seen that shit on the internet in the past 24 fucking hours it happens for everything and i feel like asman knows that he was a fucking idiot for doing the exact same fucking they just never lead to anything productive and we all know it it's like people said it was racist i didn't mean it as racist but if you listen to what i said it's easy that you could assume that it's okay so, so he's saying basically the way he said it is easy to misunderstand i don't think it was though I get that, that's where I'm confused. Like, uh, like to me, it, it it seemed very basic what he was saying. That's why I don't get this. That th this is literally why I don't I don't understand this whole thing. And so I'm I'm just a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking moron. I've been an asshole. I think that I've devolved for the last two years. I think that I've negatively affected other people too in ways that I I I, I hate. I, I I don't even hate to say this. Like I, I think I need to say this. I need to say it more. I, I've I've negatively affected people in ways that. Zaxxon says Leaf considered the IQ of the average American. Yeah, but I don't I don't think that's his fault. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's his fault. I think whenever I go back live again, I'll probably talk about that more. And, you know, like there's some just different people I kind of want to apologize to and, you know, take accountability for things that I've said and, and done that have negatively affected other people in ways that were unfair and wrong. And um, that's what my plan is. That's about it. Uh, I want to say that uh, I, I hope that now after you've heard what I have to say, a lot of you all can see kind of why I'm saying that I appreciate this. I'm, I really <clears> think <throat> that this is something I needed. And I hope that this is the next part of the rest of my life. And I want you guys to hold me accountable to that. Good. So if I'm being a f I will say if bro goes to Saudi, if Gold is in Saudi Arabia, I will shave off my eyebrows. There ain't no fucking way that's happening. Zero shot. That being said, I, I'm very happy that the the great thing about Asmongold is very self-aware. Uh, I think it's good that he's encouraging his audience to actually hold him accountable for the shit that they may <laughs> But how did he feel if you didn't and, have uh, breakfast this yeah, morning? Let's hope upcoming months, years. Dude, the sad dude, the sad thing is, like, say whatever you want about about Asmongold. I unironically think that he actually has more intelligence than most people. Be the baldy that we knew back in the World of Warcraft. Like at a base level. Like the way he like reasons through things 
it shows more intelligence than like than like most people I see on Twitter. Bald. And it's like not even close. The election. Fucking asshole again. If I'm being I'm hoping to God he shaves his head and not gets a hair trim, that would be even better. Mean. If I'm just being callous, acting like a psychopath, treating people awfully outside of a wow raid when they get killed by fire. But really, um, laughing at people's misfortune. Try to say that is like the, the that is like the saddest thing that um I've had the experience is that like um every year that goes by in my life the more i'm like man people are fucking stupid as hell like i just dude i'm like what the fuck you know like and it's like it's painful yeah stop it what's just stop i'm gonna do my best to listen i spent two years ignoring it and look where it got me this is not even the tip of the iceberg of the problems in my hey, life hey forty five thousand views and on twitch though I, not bad i, I want to thank everybody for making me aware that that's the case and hopefully i can avoid the iceberg right and so I want to say uh, that's pretty much about all I've got. Uh, I'm sorry for a lot of people I let down, uh, not just with comments like this, but also just with the way I've been doing You have to consider that there are people higher up on the smart hierarchy that also consider you stupid. I mean, probably. Doing things in general. I think that you guys deserve a much better version of me than what you've been getting. And I hope that I can. I do, uh, Athlean says, I don't think Esmond is socially yeah, enough. He just doesn't I, like I, people. I yeah. There's a difference. I, I think it's relatable. I don't even want to think about it in the future, right? As soon as I get unbanned, we're gonna. I'm the best apology is better content, change behavior. No, no because like half of the time, and when I when I say this, it's like half of the time, like somebody will talk to me about something, and they'll be like really outraged about something, and I'll be like, think about what you're saying for like two seconds. Yeah, you're right. I'm just like, what the fuck, like, dude. Like True. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, I'm just going to focus on myself for a while, try to improve my own life. And uh, there's a lot of things I I'm like, I'm not do. saying that I'm like super smart or like I'm perfect. It's just, dude, like sometimes like I feel like I can't even relate to people anymore. You know, like all the people that are that are that are yelling about this and being like, oh, like, you know, he said that he wants all of all of the, you know, all of the kids to die and stuff. I'm like, what? The, where did you get that from? You know, what the fuck? And I'll probably talk about more whenever I go live again. That like are like first more time using toothpaste. Of, uh, you know, just like kind of in the weeds, like personal stuff. But um, overall, that's the big picture. That's where I'm at. And so uh, anyway, uh, that's about all I've got. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to try to just take this time off to, uh, you know, really kind of fix my shit. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that's about it. I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, I think that was a great... Wait, is this pink? Is this part pink? Been in the 7 out of 10. A little something for everybody. Uh, didn't want to talk over the video too much. It was pretty important. But I think it was a great apology. And you want to know why that is? Is because it actually feels like he's remorseful for what he did. And he actually does want to change and grow as a person. And I think that's great. You know, like, steak and eggs over? Honestly, I don't fucking know. But just saying it right now, if it were up to me, I would still fucking do it. I'm still good with Aswin. I think he fucked up, but I don't think the guy's a fucking racist. I think the guy just said some dumb shit. And I think he fucked up and he overgeneralized. And that can always lead to a lot of assumptions and a lot of false realities. And uh, That's my opinion. So for me, business as usual and I'll... See, the thing is, is like, man, I guess like my take on it is is sure you could say that like he could have worded it better. And I think we're all guilty of this at some point in our lives where we make a statement and like we accidentally... It, the statement isn't airtight because it's hard, right? Like, like language is hard. Like, like people are not psychic. They're not, they're not literally in your brain, in your state of mind, in your emotions. They don't, they don't understand that. So like, you know, communication errors happen where you say something and you don't mean it. You don't mean it in that way. But the thing is, is like when that happens, you can just say, oh, sorry, that's not actually what I meant. What I meant was this. And I think that that as an apology is, is fine. Right. Because that's just a part of like human communication. Again, we're not omniscient beings that are, you know, psionically linked or something like that, where we can immediately understand exactly what a person's heart was. That's why you clarify. That's why you have discussions and you ask for clarification. So like, for instance, if you thought Asmin meant to kill all the babies, I mean, so Asmin, are you saying that everybody's like that? And that like, you know, the babies and the children should all be killed, all the innocent people? What about the innocent people in Palestine that don't believe in any of that stuff? But like they're forced, you know, they're forced, they're forced to live there. That's their existence. They can't run away because if they run away, then, you know, they'll be killed. There's, you know, do you, do you think that they should also be killed? Aspen Gold? And then he can, he could be like, well, no, that's not what I meant. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if you ask, if you really think 
that he said that, then just ask. And then and then the, the issue here on Aspengold's part is that he apologized wholeheartedly for the whole thing. He tanked the in- he basically accepted their entire premise and then fucking took it on the face, right? By saying like, "Oh, I was like an asshole." Like, I don't think that's true. But then now it's like, now that he said that, now he's conceding to their point. And now they can say, yeah, see, he was an asshole. I was right. I was 100% right. He said it himself. He said it himself that he was an asshole and he overgeneralized it. Right. And the thing, and here's here's the problem. And this is the main problem I have with this. And like, you know, this is not really related to like whether or not this is the, let me take a step back real quick. If he's apologizing and saying, I don't want to do this stuff anymore because it's not the content that he wants to do. Like, let's say that like he actually does not like that kind of content and he does want to go, oh, I want to play more games, more World of Warcraft, do more gaming content. I don't really want to do this, this sort of fighting against like, you know, the, the, I don't want to fight the crusade. I want off the front lines. I don't want to fight this crusade against, you know, the, the insane people, really. That's valid, I think, 100% listen that's not what i want for my content to be i'm backing up from it but if he's if that's the reason then i think that's acceptable but like if he's doing this because the other because other people told him that he was mean and that he should stop doing it because it's mean i feel like you're betraying the trust of your fans at that point that's all i'm saying because there's a lot of people that watch you because they want to understand like what your take is and there's a lot of people that have I, the thing is none of his fans were even like dude most of his fans like most of them i mean obviously there might you know overgeneralization again there might be some people that were mad but uh, from what i've seen most of his fans are like defending him oh yeah i can't show that on stream a method i can't show that on stream because it's like the same thing that asmin got banned for and i don't want to you know even though he is not going to get banned for it but but essentially essentially hassan says the same thing about about tibet he does like the Tibet. He does like the same thing of like Asmund and the the culture, but instead he's like says that Tibet culture is is inferior. Um, and he didn't. He doesn't get in trouble. Yeah, and then there's the Froggen clip. Yeah, that that's talking about how like veterans should get PTSD or something. Like like how she doesn't care if veterans get PTSD. I think is exactly what she said. Another facet is understanding the definition of things. When he said culture, he hopefully didn't mean doesn't actually mean culture, but it's what was said and it's what he apologized for. So anyone, anyone, anyone who knows the difference between culture and ideology, they see that what he said is fascist because it's saying the entire group of people are lesser than, which is suspiciously similar to other shitty rhetoric. Okay, well, I don't think that culture is the same as immutable characteristics. I don't think that culture is a part of an immutable characteristic. Like for instance, you can have people, um, you can have people who are, uh, you can have people who are Asian, but they have, they adopt to American culture. So I don't think it's really the same. If if you're trying to make a comparison to like Hitler, I don't think it's the same. (sighs) Culture and ideology, the difference between them. Isn't ideal. Well, okay. I think I see what you're saying. So isn't ideology a piece of culture? So culture is like the overall thing and ideology can be a piece of culture, but you can subscribe to other aspects of the culture, but not the ideology. So for instance, um, just to give an example, you could say, I like, I like the, I like the culture of food in Japan, but I don't like the ideology. You can say that, right? That's, that's kind of, uh, I just used America, I guess is a better example for me to say. Um, like, oh, I don't like the, ide- I don't like the ideology in the culture right now other aspects of the culture are culinary isn't ideology a part of that though like your beliefs your beliefs but beliefs are a part of culture are they not so like i i guess it's it's kind of it's kind of rough because let's say that I, i'm making a hypothetical here so don't try to like take me out of context let's say hypothetically um i'm just gonna use let's just say cat folk culture let's say cat folk culture in your opinion like according to your own be- your own like like according to like your own beliefs cat folk culture is like 95 percent of it is worse but there's like one aspect that's good like say you like the cat folk food but like the rest of it is like absolute shit just like the way like the, every, everything else you don't you don't you don't like it you think it's worse it's it, in fact you think it's immoral if you were to say that cat folk culture everything about it is bad i think that's closer to the truth than not and I get that it's it's an it's an absolute in the context of conversation. Obviously, there can be small things about it. You know, like like do we really in everyday conversation take the one percent scenario and then 
use that as a you said all do you know what i mean if it's bad for you then it's bad for you no 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 i think i think i think as a person you can make according to your moral framework you can make a, you you can make a statement based on like whatever how do i say it i think if you have a moral framework you can use that to wholeheartedly say something is bad or not right obviously if a person is evil like if a, like 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 what are we talking about right like 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 making it subjective well, obviously it's subjective but like what are we talking about like if a person is crazy and they think that the, the like let, let's just let's just say that there was a culture I'm not again I'm not referencing any specific culture but say there was a culture where like murder was good and like we we sacrifice babies say there was a culture like that and then like like would you ever be like ah oh, well you know what for them that's that's good right like you know who am i to judge who am i to judge for them like murdering babies is fine that's like you know that's great like we don't do this like in what world what world do we do this so yeah like like if you if you if you if you if you go even like a little bit in one you know you, you break it down even a little bit you, you see how it, it doesn't really work a good example would be like i, I mean obviously it depends on the degree of it it depends on the, the, the degree of stuff right I mean, I can go look at it right now. I mean, like, like for the one that we're talking about, um, did I say anything wrong? Sorry, people are damning me. I think I've been very clear about what I mean. That's enough of that.